a really important thing about North Carolina's music scene in the Triangle that I just love and I take with me wherever I go is we've, you know, you got to build your team. You got to build the team of folks that you just, you just, it's all based on trust, you know, and you all have each other's back. And that could just be, that could just be in a family way where we just like, you know, like take each other's kids for an afternoon if we need that kind of a thing. But it also is just like, we know we can call so-and-so to do, um, to do their thing. And to the, and cause their thing is something we really value and, and take stock in that thing. And we know that that thing's going to grow alongside of us. We all do this. Um, and I love seeing, um, all these different artists and songwriters and, you know, producers and people that have these common goals of making great records, making great music. We, we have a big opportunity in front of us to just coalesce all of that and realize we're all on that same path and all that same mission. It doesn't matter what scene we're talking about. If we're talking about the jazz and the hip hop scene, which is so vital and, uh, and living in Durham. Uh, and if we're talking about, you know, like our kind of songwriter scene and things that are more folk based and things that are uh, more bluegrass based that are here, like mandolin orange and uh, folks like that. And Mipso, uh, you know, those, we all have started to recognize and see each other in the last five years. My favorite thing about this place that I keep taking away from it is we all recognize the journey in each other. And I, um, and I love that. And I think that that's a great foundation to build community on are the artists all finding each other in the, in the, the, the night in the evening and the dawns of, of our existences and just realizing we're on that same path together. We're all trying to do that same thing.